story all of us dog lovers yeah you, so you may know you know obviously man's best friend woman's best friend of course dogs and puppies huge and it's an understatement a huge impact on our lives in, in a lot of different ways too yeah. and there's an organization right here in Wilmington putting that idea to work pause for people they specialize in custom assistance dogs this is to help folks to really live their lives to the fullest and Carolina in the mornings Molly Oak live from the puppy development center which just sounds like a great place to be this morning <laughs> and they have an event coming up in a few weeks that you want to talk to us about too Molly Absolutely, definitely not a bad place to start your Monday morning off. And we're here with Danielle. So, I mean, we all know that dogs can have a huge impact on people's lives, but y'all are really training dogs to transform lives. Yes, ma'am. So, we train assistance dogs for children and veterans living with disabilities. Um, so, this is Leslie. She is one of our student trainers through our UNCW program. And this is Collier. Um, Collier is training to work with an 11 year old boy named Hayden who lives in South Carolina. And Hayden, unfortunately, is living with some anxiety and depression. So Leslie has been working with Collier to help him mitigate Hayden's disability. I mean, we've met dogs on our sister station who are in classrooms, there's crisis response. So yes. there's really no limits to what these dogs can do or the impact no, they can have. No, ma'am. We train a lot of psychiatric service dogs. So to work with veterans who might be living with post traumatic stress traumatic brain injuries. They do things like wake dogs up from nightmares, um, interrupt their panic attacks. Wow. So those types of things. In addition to more day-to-day -day things that you might be used to seeing. So opening and closing refrigerators, turning lights off and on, retrieving items as and well. And Collier can do some of those things, yes. right? Can we show that yes. off? Yes, we're going to show you a couple things. Um, so first, Leslie and Collier are going to demonstrate the anchor command. So anchor is a command that we use to help lower an individual's anxiety. It is a grounding technique. So that way the individual can feel the dog pressed up against them and can lean over and pet them in times of stress. Aww. And so you said that that's a lot of day-to-day -day tasks as well, yes. right? Yeah, so this will be something that Hayden can do with Collier anytime he is feeling stressed, overwhelmed in public situations. And what else can Collier do to really help um, Hayden? Out? Collier can also do things like pick up his leash and any other dropped items that Hayden might need. Get your leash. Oh my goodness. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yes. And recently, Leslie and Collier have also been practicing opening and closing a refrigerator as well. Okay. Sorry. Look. Tug. Tug. That's it. That's it. Good boy. Okay, that's impressive. Close. That's so, right it. now, he opens and that's closes it, boy. and his next step will be to learn yeah. how to pick items out of the fridge, like pick up a water bottle and carry it over to Hayden. And I can only imagine how helpful this is not only for Hayden, but for boy. people really everywhere. Yes, yes. So, um, we work a lot with individuals who might have some mobility limitations. Mm -hmm. So, again, think people who might utilize a wheelchair, a walker, so they can pick items up, jump up in your lap, and drop it for you. Um, opening and closing the doors and then we do like I said psychiatric assistance dogs and so the good thing is that we place these dogs for free um, because okay. we are a nonprofit so we do not charge the client any money and they're valued at about sixty thousand dollars a piece Wow so in our next segment we're going to talk about some fundraising events that we have coming up to help fundraise the cost for these dogs and I don't even know uh, you said sixty thousand dollars but Bob and Kim I think you might agree that I don't think you can put a value on the impact that that a dog can have on someone's life, especially no. when they're as talented as Collier. Yes. yes. No, I, I agree with you, Molly. And I think it's good for Collier, too. You can tell he's having a great time. I was going to say, you can t and some dogs, you can just tell how they just love to learn. Mm -hmm. It's like a new trick to them. Yeah. And how food motivated animals can be at times. They but just it, it gets the work done. They just want to make their trainer happy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Gannon does the same thing. If I have coffee, <laughs> Gannon will follow me around and give him a little scratch behind the ear. Gannon's so <laughs> he's easy. He's a good boy. <laughs>